Welcome back to Sloth Box. I'm Linda Dixon, and as usual, this video is brought to you by the Excelsior Sporting Club. Today, I'm joined again by the main man, Denzel Bentley. Denzel, how are you getting on, mate? I'm all good, thanks. And yourself? Yeah, not too bad. Um, the last time we spoke was in April, a few weeks after the Kieran Smith knockout. Um, you was happy with it then, but a few months on, talk to me about how you feel about that night now. Yeah, no, it was, it was a good night, man. It was a good night. It was a good knockout. I mean, I'm just really itching to get back out now, innit? Do you know what I mean? I'm mm. done now. I want to get on to the next phase and have a fight date and um, have another fight, really. Well, let's talk about that a little bit because straight after the fight, they had Hamza Shiraz on, on commentary saying that he'd love the fight, blah, blah, blah. And um, I'm seeing rumours on social media that you've agreed terms and stuff like this. First of all, well, I know the answer, but do you want that fight? And second of all, how close are we to that fight? Yeah, I mean, um, it's not even a matter of want that fight. I just mean, it's just like, I'm open to take any fight. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's not, oh, I want Hamza. Like, he ain't really got anything for me. Um, to be honest, though, we've got a WC silver title. So that's a nice, but I, I, I think that's one below the interim. So mm. that is a title, and obviously it's got to come off. So, um, I mean, how close are we to that fight? I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'm seeing, I'll be honest with you. Like when I, I was looking over the past couple of days on like what to talk about and just typing your name in on Twitter, it's people just calling for that fight. But like you say, you've, you're the A side. You've got more to offer in terms of who's got more to offer. You've got loads more to offer than he does. And um, I feel like personally, I feel like, his team have used your name in certain conversations to sort of bring him up a bit. How do you feel about that? Do you agree? I mean, look, it's one of the ones where, like you said, you say my name, I'm not hard to make a fight with. Mm. If, 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 you know, if, if someone really wanted to fight, it would have it been done right now. I mean, you're probably waiting to, you know, improve on, on a couple of things with your team, probably waiting until they feel like he's ready to fight me. They're probably thinking not right now, you're not ready right now, give it like two, three more fights and then you'll be ready. Maybe that's what they're waiting for. But as far as I'm concerned, yeah, in that sense, you're right. They keep putting us back to back, building this rivalry. And listen, the rivalry only makes sense if we're going to get it on eventually. You know what I mean, other than that, I don't really care about no one's name. I just, I just, I just, I just want to fight. Bro. Like, me, like, <laughs> and I, I don't think, I don't think that can be questioned. So yeah, yeah. on my, I'm more good. I mean, come over and, and have, have, you know, discussion about this fight. It'll be easily made. Do you think, realistically, just, you know, do you think that's next or not? Probably not. No, no, it's clearly not next because next he's fighting in Poland. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's not next. No. Well, moving on from him anyway, what do you think to the Usyk Dubai fight anyway? Because I spoke to Caroline Dubai and she thinks if anyone can cause an upset, it's going to be her brother Daniel. But again, that's her brother Daniel. So, you know I, what I mean? I, what do you I, think? I, 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 because he's got the power to do like he's got one punch knockout power, Dan. Mm. I mean, I see him. I seen it in the in in the gym, like in sparring, like twenty ounce gloves, and so like lay guys out, like give guys seizures and, and stuff like that. So, <laughs> but he's got crazy power. But U Usyk's smart, man. Usyk's very smart. I mean, I agree with Caroline. I think she is right in in in, in the fact that if anyone can do it, it, it can be done. But I don't know, man. Usyk's very smart. I'm, I don't think Usyk's an idiot. I think Usyk knows this guy's got one punch power and he tries his best to not, to not get hit flush. Mm. But listen, it's boxing, there's 12 rounds and you are going to get hit flush at some point. It's just how he react to it. Yeah. Another fight that is being talked about a little bit now, I feel like it's getting close, is Dan Aziz against Bawatsi. That's It's a British fight that I'd love, but it means so much more. They're both world-class fighters. And if those two get in the ring together, for me, it's a 50-50. But how do you see it? Because that's a, mate, that's a cracker if that happens. It'd be nothing less than an exciting fight. Man. Mm. Them two boys, nah, to fight. They're both offensive, very offensive. Um, both tough. They're both, um, you know, they're both, like you said, both world-class operators. And, you know, they're both trying to move on to the career. I mean, whoever wins this moves into a world title. So it means more. So... You know, it's one of the ones where they're going to put everything on the line because because of what's on the line. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it'll be a good fight, man. It'll be, it'll be a very, very good fight. I think it goes 12 rounds. I don't think 
anyone gets stopped, but it'll be a good fight. The last one on the predictions. I think we've spoke about this a little bit before, but it's finally happening now. Spence Crawford. I mean, it's a boxing fan's dream fight. They're finally, it's finally going to happen. They can't take it away from us now. Um, yeah. How do you see that going? Because everyone I speak to, I've said it in a couple of interviews, they're fences. People don't know who to pick, but you can't really blame them because it's such an even fight. But who would you pick? I'm going Crawford. Why? Tell me. Um, one, because I'm a big Crawford fan. I'm a, I'm a big Spence fan, Spence fan as well, but I'm more Crawford. But mm. he's got more game, I think. Um, he can fight both ways. He can press. He can move. He can bang. He can box. Whereas, I'm not saying Spence can't do those things, but Spence doesn't do all of that to such a high level. Spence's real um, strengths are his physicality and his punching power. Mm. And his ability to just push the gears and push fighters to that to that limit. But Crawford does all of those things that name that he does to a high standard. He boxes both ways at a high level. He can come forward and bang at a high level and mm. he can box and move at a high level. So when he figures out one's not working for him, he'll try the other. So we just got so many tools to pick from. Mm. That's why or Crawford. Well, back to you, mate. I've been again when I've been thinking about what to talk about. The thing is, in terms of likable fighters, for me personally, you're right up there. You're explosive. You can box. You're a, no a normal guy. You're not a prick, to say. But um, where what do you want from boxing? Because you've been at that world level. You've come down. You've rebuilt. You're now back on it, or at least right on the verge of it. What do you want now? Like for for the rest of your career, what's the aim? Like where where do you want to be? at the end of your career? Like, what are you looking back at? Oh, at the end of my career, I'd, I'd like to be... I mean, I will be a world champion. I'd like to be a world champion in more than one weight class. Mm. Um, that would be the aim. I know that's 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 hard work. It's, it, it, it won't come easy. But, I mean, I'd like to go down as, you know, um, one of the best fighters in, in, in British boxing history. I think if I, if I achieve that, I'd be very happy with, with retirement. If I don't, I might be itching to, to come out of retirement at certain times. <laughs> Yeah, I'd, I'd like to go down as, as a British boxing legend and, and have a few quid in the bank. Mm. Mate, talk, talking of dreams, what I've spoken in the last few interviews I've done, I've chucked this one in there. It's a bit of a cliche, but each time I get a different answer. What's your dream venue? I've had so many different answers. If you could pick, where, where do you want to fight the most? That's a good question, you know. I don't think I have one anymore. Um, I mean, I, before I don't, I, I still do actually, but I mean, if it don't happen, it happen. But I've always, I always feel like I want to fight back in Ghana. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think a world title fight in Ghana would be mad and madness. Mate. But I mean, I haven't thought about that for a while, so I'd be lying if I said that's my dream because it's not something that's crossed my mind in a long time. But other than that, I'm not sure, you know. I mean, I've already fought in Vegas, not in the biggest venue, but I've done that. So I can't say that's a dream. Um, that's crazy. Maybe Wembley, because it holds the most. I mean, as oh. I think, 100,000 people in one place is crazy. For you. Like, All there for you as well. Say, yeah. Like, <laughs> like crazy. I remember that when I went um, Fury White Fight. Atmosphere was nuts. Like Fury's room walk was amazing. Like it was just like, yeah, I think I need to be here still. Mm. Like it was just. Well, um, mate. Last question, as usual. It's a it's a pleasure to speak, but it feels like things are a bit up in the air at the minute in terms of what's next. But where do you see yourself come the end of the year? That's the Shiraz talk, but I feel like you've got bigger visions and bigger aspirations than Hamza Shiraz in terms of yeah. where you want to be. But where do you want to be towards the end of the year? In the end of the year, I want to be, I want to be a step closer to a world title shot. I mean, I would have liked a world title shot by the end of the year. But if I'm being honest, that doesn't look likely. It doesn't mean that anything can happen because at the end of last year, I didn't think I'd get a world title shot. Mm. And I, so, um, I'd like to be a step closer to a world title shot, if I'm being honest. Mm. Well, mate, like I said, as usual, it's been a pleasure. I've been Lyndon Dixon. He's been Denzel Bentley. And we will see you on the next one. Thank you. Cheers, mate.